What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have a brand new fantasy attire custom plus some WWE figure hauls. Jesus, Charlie. Jesus. <laughs> So in today's video, we do have this brand new fantasy attire, Kenny freaking Omega, guys. And I'm very, very excited about this. Um, I had this idea a few days ago, and uh, I think it was yesterday that I finally finished it. I posted it on Instagram so you guys could see, but we're going to take a close in uh, zoom up shot on it because I know I have a lot of people here on YouTube that don't have an Instagram, so I wanted you guys to see it. But uh, what I did was I took the Macho Man Hall of Fame figure, you know, the one with the pink and the whatever. I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. You can see it there. But uh, I had a great idea. I was like, oh my God, if you acetone off that pink, you could have a full lime green attire. So I was like, how sick would it be? Because, you know, Macho Man already has, like, the Kenny, uh, Kenny Omega-esque uh, torso on it. And I was like, you know what, bro? That's perfect. You, you don't have to torso switch or anything like that. And then I took the Elite 52 Seth Rollins kick pads, and I uh, popped those on there. So you have some blackage on there. I put the knee pads on there as well, so you get a, you know, black and lime green two-tone on the knee pads, the tights, and the kick pads right here. And um, then I added some Dolph Ziggler arms. I put the Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler arms on there. You know, they could be smaller. I could probably use like Billy Gunn or uh, anybody like that. That that would also work for me as far as arms go. But I wanted the black wrist tape. It's pretty thick on there. So um, I like uh, Kenny Omega's tape to be a little bit thicker than the shorter uh, version. And then I just put some random hands on there. I do not know whose hands these are because, uh, I don't know, Dolph Ziggler has black hand tape, so I had to switch that. Kenny Omega doesn't wear that. And then I've used uh, my boy Mad Reaper Studios. I used his Warbler stuff, which is this plastic stuff that you uh, can use to mold, and you can heat it up and wrap it, and it will form to the figure. So I made the belt out of that Warbler stuff, painted up the belt buckle right there, silver, you know, give it a little detail there. And then I just came in and hand-painted these decals on the side right here. So I hand-painted this logo right here, guys. It is half Kenny Omega and then half a skull and um, a really easy technique that I'll tell you about is take your paintbrush and what I did was made the circle and then used a toothpick and came in and like pretty much hand carved the design in there so that is the result of that it's very very easy makes it come out a lot cleaner and uh, pun intended right there on the butt we do have the cleaner as I just stated um, I, I found this logo on ProWrestlingTees.com and it was on one of his t-shirts so I just popped it on the butt right there so you have the cleaner on the butt and then on the left side we do have this uh, Bullet Club slash Elite logo. It's the skull with like the paint dripping down. We got both uh, AK-47 machine guns on there going crosses. You know how they do in Bullet Club. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the tights. Going down into the kick pads, we do have this paint splatter look. And how I achieved this look is I took a paintbrush. You dip it in some black and then you do like a flicking motion. And uh, it makes this beautiful like spray paint, uh, paint splatter type design. And I'm really happy with the way it came out. If anything, I'll take some uh, decals and put the K Omega and the cleaner right there. But I don't know. I, I kind of like them blank like this. I love the way that came out. The lime green, black, and uh, the contrast just looks so freaking beautiful. So that is what we have for my custom, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy that custom. I uh, am working on the head scan right now. I have a few uh, Daniel Bryan head scans that I'm working on to complete the custom. So that is our Kenny Omega custom. But now that we have taken care of that, guys, let's go ahead and open up these figures. We do have uh, three or four, I guess you could say, with the Hardy Boys over here. But uh, let's go ahead and crack all three of these packages open. Alright guys, here we have the figures out of the packaging. As you can see, we did pick up four new figures. We got the Flashback Series Walmart exclusive Shawn Michaels from the Heartbreak Hotel set. I wanted to grab another one of these just because I wanted to make some customs and some, you know, Flashback Shawn Michaels. So I wanted to pick up another one of these. We get some all-white, you know, kick pads and legs. A lot of really good parts on this guy. We got some glasses, of course, and the ringside exclusive head scan on there. So I definitely had to pick up another one of these. Honestly, guys, I'll probably pick up more just because, like, these are great parts for future customs as well as, you know, good bases for uh, other HBKs in the future. So I had to definitely grab one of those Shawn Michaels. Um, we have seen these multiple times. I think this is my fourth set of WWE Shop exclusive Hardys. I just love these figures so much, guys. So nostalgic. And another two-pack here. We got 
got the Jeff Hardy with the blue sleeves and the Matt Hardy with the camo pants. And these are great because, again, you can make customs out of them. So I wanted to get more anytime. I don't have an FYE in my area. So anytime I see these out at FYE, I go ahead and grab them just because they'll be good investments for the future. And um, I can always use some more Hardys. I want to make more custom Hardys, more custom mats. So got to always grab WWE Shop exclusive Hardys when you see them. And then our final figure, as everything's falling and going to hell, just, just screw it. All right, so this, this last one is the Elite 60 Kofi Kingston. I went to GameStop, and this is the only Elite 60 figure that they had. But um, I'm pretty excited about it, guys, because I have a custom in mind that I'm going to be using for this. So every figure we got today will probably be a custom sometime in the future. And the, the one that this one's going to be is actually going to be pretty freaking hilarious. And I cannot wait to uh, get started on that. I do have to wait on some work from BEW. But um, this is going to be an amazing custom that I cannot wait to get started on, guys. It's going to be really fun, and it's going to be great. And it has to do with the NXT division of MDT Wrestling. So definitely uh, be on the lookout for that. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. But that pretty much does it for this video here this morning. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, great WWE figure haul. We have plenty of customs here. And we do have our brand new Kenny Omega custom that I cannot wait to use on the pick fed. Do not know when he'll debut this attire. Um, I don't think he'll be debuting it at sold out. But who knows, guys, anything can happen. But uh, we got a lot of great fodder here for future customs. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Kofi Kingston, and HBK Shawn Michaels. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to be doing a double upload today, so stay on the lookout for another video coming out later on today. It's going to be a lot of great informational stuff for you guys, as well as some great products that you're going to be able to pick up. So definitely be on the lookout. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave me a like, comment down below if you enjoy any of these figures or what your thoughts are on this beautiful Kenny Omega Fantasy Custom. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.